So as I mentioned before, using a harness on your dog is the only way you should really bike your dog. I don't like biking him on a collar because one, I have a point of contact near my handlebars which can pull me off balance. And two, if the dog puts too much pressure on their neck, it's a negative experience for the dog. So a really good quality harness, and it can be any harness because you're not putting that much pressure on it, is gonna make this a lot easier. And what I'll do is I'll slip this over my dog's body. I'll connect it. And any good harness is gonna have this back D-ring, which will allow you to attach the bicycle to here. I can keep this on her while I'm biking, but I'm not gonna control her with it. So from here, you'll see that when I take and get Maya near the bicycle, the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is get her used to being around a bicycle. So while she's in front of the bicycle, I'm gonna do things like giving her treats. Maya. So let her see that this is all positive. See, now she's meddling inside the bicycle a little bit. Good girl, come on. And get her used to moving. Good, come here. Give her another treat. And when I first start this game out, I'm not gonna attach her to the bicycle yet. I'm really gonna just get her used to walking with the bicycle. So I'll hang on to the leash here and I'll start to move. Come on, good. And let her see that this bicycle is not gonna cause her any harm. And the important thing to start teaching the dog right away is not to do that. Because that's where she's gonna get hurt. I'm gonna run right over her. So instead, when I'm here with her, what I'm gonna start teaching her is stay next to me and I'm gonna start turning into her this way so that she understands to stay away from the bicycle. Now, I'll get on the bicycle for the first time here, and now I'm gonna walk her with the bicycle. And I'll start to do little things like step on her toes to keep her away from the bicycle so that she doesn't get too close. So here, I'm gonna turn, turn into her, turn into her, turn into her, and every time she looks up, yes, good girl. I start marking that with a reward. Good girl. Yes. Now you notice she's staying right next to me here. She's not getting ahead of the bicycle anymore. And at this point, Maya, I'm gonna hook her in. Come here, Maya. Come here. Come here. And like I said, this has a spring in it so it can expand. So that now for the first time she's actually hooked in and I'm just gonna let her pull me here. Come on. So once the dog is, is conditioned to be next to me by giving her treats, Maya, hey, good. Then I can start walking the bike and keeping her with me. Right, come here. Once she gets used to that, I'm gonna let her pull me and I'm gonna just go this way here and make sure she stays away from the sprockets, away from the spokes. And the first thing, no matter what, keep making left turns, easy. And here I can even give her a little tap back, tap back, tap back, turn left into her. And again, these are all left turns, because this is the highest risk of her getting injured, is if I turn left into her. Turn left, turn left. And I use the leash here to give her little cues that I'm gonna turn left, which I can't do if she's just on the, uh, on the harness. So here, now when she's used to it, I can just hold this leash real loosely here and I can go for my first ride with her. Good, right, here we go. Come on, good girl. And I'm gonna make a right turn. And here, I'm just gonna pull her along. Pull her, pull her, pull her. And I'm gonna go straight on. And go right by there. If I see the dog coming close to the wheel, I'll also use my foot and start teaching her here to get away, and she'll keep pulling you as you're pulling that way. One thing I like to have on the bicycle is two things. One is a clip for my phone, so I don't have to dig in my pocket for it if I need it. Also, try to stay off your phone when you're riding your bicycle, it's very dangerous. Um, most importantly, I like to have a speedometer in one of these uh, 
speedometer that has an odometer on it and a timer on it is a really good idea because you'll lose sight of how long you've been on the on the bicycle. So this will tell you the distance you've gone, the um, the speed, the average speed, um, your odometer, and everything else. How much time you've been on there, and that's something to keep really in mind for your dog. So you don't want to have the dog on there too long. You don't want to go too fast. Uh, certain dogs will go faster, like Maya and Goofy will probably do 8 to 12 miles an hour consistently on this, which is a slow pace for us riding the bike. But again, we're not riding the bike for our exercise, we're riding the bike to give the dog exercise and to, to have fun with the dog. Keep that in mind so you don't go crazy fast and crazy long. Some dogs can go 5 miles, some dogs can go 10 miles. There's some dogs that can't even go a mile, so be aware of that. And if your dog's not ready for that, don't put your dog on the bicycle. This is about the benefit for the dog, the health benefit for the dog, and exercise for the dog, not stressing your dog out at all. So once, once my dog is really used to riding on this, then I can take this attachment off completely. That. and I can just attach my dog to this dog walk. Come here, Maya. Come here. Good girl. And now from here, you'll see the difference that when she's, she's completely in control of the ride. And one reason I keep the leash attached to the dog is that if I want my dog to go potty or anything, I can real simply disconnect this and let the dog go potty. Or if I'm talking to somebody or I want to let the dog go, I still have control of the dog. The safety risk of letting go of your dog when they're on a bicycle is immense. So I like to make sure I've got a leash and I've got the harness attached. This when I'm riding, I don't ever have it wrapped around my wrist or wrapped around the handlebars. I just keep it like this. So if she were to pull, I could drop it and she'd simply be attached to the harness. So I hope you enjoy biking with your dog. Hope you have a fun time, keep it safe. And one most important thing I'm gonna show you when you finish biking with your dog or in between rides, I'm gonna take my dog over here. And remember, your dog can't sweat like we sweat, so it's real important to have plenty of water and give your dog plenty of fluids so she can rehydrate after we, after we train. Here you go, Maya, have some water. Don't, if your dog is overheat, to pour water over the top of them because that'll just only put them in shock. Make sure they drink plenty of water and that the bottom part of their body gets a lot of cooling off this way. But the most important thing is that your dog drinks as much water as possible. So make sure your dog is always able to drink plenty of cool water.